Hey, what's going on everyone? Hawks21 here, back with another Splinterlands video. So, as we sort of wait for the next Chaos Legion airdrop, I was doing some thinking. We still have a bit of a ways to go. The pack buying has slowed down a little bit since the last airdrop was hit. How I think it's going to work in general is, you know, it's going to be slow in the beginning. You know, we'll slowly build up towards the 8 million number. And then what we saw last time was a massive spur to buy in the last like day or two um, that pushed it over the 8 million uh, threshold pretty quickly. But while we wait, I was just doing some speculation. Um, you know, as I was thinking about what are some cars I could potentially buy next, I was thinking about what is this next airdrop card going to be. So far, we've gotten the card art, which we see here. And basically what I want to do to do today. I was going to just do this by myself, uh, sort of thinking for my own sake, but I figured why not hit record and we can sort of talk through this together. I want to do a little fun speculation about what we think this card is going to be. Um, again, it's just speculating based off two things really. The card art, which Splinterlands I would say does a really good job of the card art fitting, um, you know, what the character is going to do. It's so like if you just like take a look at Grum, for example, we basically knew, you know, this picture, right? That's going to be a big melee monster of some sort, right? With the big sword, he's big and massive. Um, you knew that was going to be some sort of most likely tank monster. Um, same with Bakjira, right? You see this massive whale, and you know it's not going to be like this little two health. We didn't know what. Was he going to be an attack monster? He ends up being like a really beefy support monster. But, you know, we knew he wasn't going to be like a two mana little wimpy guy once we got the card art. So, judging off this, the first two things that jump into my head were some sort of melee attack. Whether that be a main tank, which I think is unlikely, and I'll explain why in a second, or um, a reach monster, which I I think is an interesting idea. So let's go over to Splinterlands for a second. And we'll go to the market and we'll just look at some dragon cards. So first, why I don't think it's going to be a tank. Like a main upfront attack focused tank. And that's because look at some of the cards we've gotten recently from Chaos Legion and the cards that are going to be available in the modern format. One of the more recent reward cards, Jinchuala, it's exactly this, a in-your-face, melee-focused attack with a little bit of defense in the thorns, but specifically once you get to higher levels and it gets the enrage, it's very attack-focused. Um, you know, it, with this top level with enrage, it's doing six damage, has a ton of shield, ton of hearts, okay speed, gets better when it does get enraged, um, and really good attack for a reasonable eight mana. So we got that card as a reward, and then as a part of Chaos Legion, we got Desert Dragon. Another, basically, melee-focused main tank, um, which is one of the few that I haven't gotten yet, just because he's too slow for me. I have Kitty, so it makes it a little better, but he's too susceptible to magic. He's like a niche card for 7 mana that I don't see myself using that much in gold, um, I will eventually get him because he is useful in, you know, specific settings where I know that there's no magic, right? The piercing with the retaliate for me at gold with the trample is nice. Melee attacks from anywhere is nice at any, this card's nice at any level. Um, but for the cost, it, there's just other areas I wanted to allocate my money. But regardless, not the point of the video, another recent modern sort of in-your-face melee tank, which is why I think... This guy, oops, sorry, which is why I think this guy won't be that. I would be surprised at least, even though he kind of looks like one. If we got another sort of big beefy tank, it sort of becomes, uh, you know, monotonous with the Desert Dragon and um, the Jinchuala. So that brings me to my second thought, which is a Reach Monster. And we have a few. So the Twilight Basculus is a nice Little League Reach monster, specifically in gold once it gets the stun. But even here, just having the one shield with good speed, attack, health, you can play him at Little League. Um, is a very useful Reach monster. We are losing a Reach monster. 
from Modern. It will still be available in Wild in the Manticore, which is another Little League great, uh, you know, sort of reach monster. Has the thorns, is flying too, which is nice, and has some high health. This is a really great card. Um, but the Twilight Basilisk kind of replaces that card. There are some other reach monsters. There's the one that, yeah, here we go. This one's more of a defensive reach monster, the Gorladax Guardian. Um, doesn't have a ton of attack. Gets up to three at gold for six mana. But the shield, and then at the top, top levels, gets protect, which is awesome. Um, but still, kind of like a smaller, not a big attack, more defensive uh, reach monster. And I think that's all of them. Just want to double check so I don't miss anything yeah so that's all of the reach monsters so what i think this new guy could potentially be and he I, part of what i think of that is it looks like he's reaching back to sort of you know reach forward from the second line not to get too sort of into the lore or the card art but to attack the first position and he kind of reminds me of someone that could play a role like um the gorgolodon Right, I made a video on that I was buying some Gorgolodons. The price has gone up since, so I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, but Dragon doesn't really have this. Sort of like a big, high mana, expensive, high attack reach monster with a bunch of health. Um, you know, I don't know what abilities or whatever it would get or what its speed it would be. But like a really high mana, powerful reach monster. So that was my first thought. Dragon doesn't really have that. And just from the card art, that looks to be a possibility. My second thought is a Bakjira style sort of support monster. Maybe it has an attack, maybe it has a tiny bit of an attack, um, but like high health, mid mana, similar to Bakjira, um, but giving sort of different, it's a card that sort of buffs your team versus is defensive. And the reason why I say that is, originally I was thinking Naga Brute, right which is actually really nice and a card i think is pretty underrated actually i think i have it at level five i do i would like to level this up at some point um to get the return fire but you know with the void armor you stick this guy up front it's a non-attack tank it's a secondary sort of snipe defense tank that takes a lot of shots and is a really defensive tank that your uh that the other team has to get through in order to hit your main attackers so maybe it's a beefed up version of that, but I think it might be more like the Bakjira in the sense that it's giving you um, sort of buffs to your team. Like, I don't know if it'll have a heal or not. It doesn't, I don't think it'll be the same buffs, but, you know, he has a bunch of armor, you know, maybe let's go to Splinter Cards actually for a second. You know, now that I've introduced these tools in my beginner's guide, I feel more comfortable using them. So let's go to abilities. Let's just speculate. You know, maybe swiftness. You know, maybe he gives everyone swiftness. Maybe we just did get a swiftness monster, so maybe not. Maybe he protects everyone. He's like a big, strong looking guy. Maybe he can give everyone shield. Um, maybe he demoralizes the other team. That could be the case. Maybe just his presence or something demoralizes his other team. Uh, maybe he has inspire, right? Like maybe he's a support card with inspire that's really hard and difficult to get through. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot. Maybe he has repair. He's like a strong guy with repair. I I don't really know. Um, but like some sort of backline support off tank, similar to back Jira. Dragon doesn't have a lot of that. It's mainly like damage focused. So I think there's room for that. Those are my top three thoughts. Big, powerful reach monster or back Jira style high mana, not high mana, mid mana, high HP or high shield support monster. That sort of either really nerfs your opponent's team or gives your team a bunch of buffs. Um, finally, my other thought is some sort of... I'm fairly confident it won't be ranged, right? There's nothing about this picture that tells me ranged. And Dragon has a ton of great ranged monsters. But maybe Magic. So I'm going to go back to the market. We're losing some decent Magic monsters to, um, uh, to the wild format. Like the Black Dragon, we're losing Gold Dragon, there's one more. We're losing Red Dragon, so we're losing a decent amount of magic attack. And as you can see, we have a fairly decent amount of range attack. 
Um, or maybe less than I thought, actually. Uh, we just got Zyvax Fool, Naga Assassin. We are losing Fire Spitter. So we are, we are losing some range, but to me, there really could use some additional magic help in Dragon. And, you know, this is probably my third would be favorite option for the card art. Like maybe this gem in his hand is some sort of magical, can shoot some magical whatever. Um, but yeah, I think magic would be interesting. My first choice would probably be a reach monster because I think that's the biggest hold, uh, the biggest hole in Dragon right now. Um, but yeah, I, I just like to speculate. It, you know, it's always fun to do. Watch is going to come out and it's going to be like a ranged monster after I make this video, of course. Um, but it's just fun stuff to think and talk about. Um, I appreciate you being here. You know, give me your thoughts below or on Twitter or wherever. You know, let me know. What do you think, you know, this new dragon monster is going to be? What do you think? Any like cool abilities that you think he's going to have? Um, I would love to hear what you're, you know, what you're thinking and have a conversation about it. Um, you know, if you enjoyed the content, I really appreciate you being here. If you could like and subscribe, it would be awesome. And I'll uh, talk to you soon.